What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. Welcome to the Amy Learns to Cook Kitchen. One of the things I love about Wednesday is we get to try out a new gadget, right? Today we have the Magic Coast 14 cup food processor. What's interesting about this processor is it is die cast. So the base of it is die cast, right? A premium aluminum die cast. It comes with all kinds of fun stuff. It comes with a little whip. You can make whipped cream in it and it comes with a dicing kit. So join me. Let's take a look at the Magic Coast 14 cup food processor. So I love food processors that come with a lot of different capabilities. This food processor is kind of interesting. The very first thing that I saw is that it has this little whisk that you can make meringues and whipped creams and all that fun stuff. I thought that was so fun. So we're going to try that out. I just want to thank Magic Coast for sending this. Um, I will put links to this food processor down in the description so you can take a look at it yourself. I like the looks of it so far. So far, I've only seen the box and the pictures, but we're about to get this out of the box so we can take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's get this food processor out of the box. This is a huge box. <laughs> let's see what's in here. So we got box number one. We got an instruction manual. We got a warranty card. We got this. Whoa. Okay. Okay, okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. There's a lot to this food processor. Okay, so let's start at the very beginning. We got the motor base. So, I love this color for one. Whoa, this is, I like it because it's kind of, uh, kind of just minimalistic looking. I really like the look of it. Um, let's see what we got here. We have a bowl, some lids, ooh, some blades, be careful with that. got this. So, should I say, and before I tear open, uh, I always tear it open before I look at the manuals. There's a little instruction quick start guide here, and then your full manual, and a little card with your warranty. We have a little scraper doohickey, and here's our machine. Can you guys tell that I have fun on Wednesday? <laughs> um, so here is our bowl, our work bowl. And this is a 14 cup food processor. Um, important message. So here's our bowl. Awesome. Uh, we got some blades here. This, I think this is called a mashing blade. We have a slicing blade with two thicknesses, one and two, thinner and thicker. We have a shredding blade, big shred, small shred. <laughs> So this is what I find pretty interesting. This is our whisk for whisking meringues and stuff. Here's our post that goes in here. I think this is what the blades set on. Here's one blade. Woo! Be careful. Dough blade. 
This looks like a little thing to help you clean the Dyson kit. Here's our lid. And our pusher. Okay, so this is the Dyson kit. Sweet. So Dyson is going to make cubes instead of making, um, you know, like slices or chopping. Um, ooh. Ooh. So the way this kit works is... It looks kind of sharp. It is sharp. Definitely sharp. It, uh, this is your blade. Ooh. And it locks down on this thing. And so this comes out for cleaning. You just put that like that. Put that on there. And you lock it down. Sweet. This is an interesting dicer. We're going to take the post off. And the dicing kit goes in here. Sweet. So the overall look and feel of this thing, I think it's pretty cool. I like the look of it. The way it looks on your counter, sort of that counter style, right? It has a nice look to it. It's going to look great on your counter. Um, I like these additional little features and I'm really interested in the Dyson kit. So we are going to do some chopping, some shredding, some slicing, dicing, and whipping. So let me wash all this and we'll be back. Okay, so Ibu washed all this stuff up for us, and we have some ingredients. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to chop some onion. So this blade is kind of interesting because this doesn't just go directly on here. You take the post, you put the blade on the post, and then you put this in. I like this. It makes it easier to get the blade out, actually. But it's very sharp. Be careful. Very sharp. Be careful. So I have some onions here. I uh, took the skins off and I put it in this bag because they're very strong, <laughs> very strong onions. They're going to give me the tears. We're going to go ahead and put the top on. And the pusher. And I'm going to give it a pulse. accidentally turned it on. Ooh, nice, nice. Look at that. Ooh, look at that onion. So it looks to have chopped it quite nicely. Relatively even? Yeah. So I'm just going to use their little scraper paddle here. Very nice. Did a really nice job. So there's our onion. And um... It is kind of uh, light colored, if you can see that, but chopped it really, really nice and evenly. So it gets thumbs up. Okay, now we're going to do some slicing. We're going to slice some zucchini because I want to make some fried zucchini, right? So we're going to put the uh, post on here. So there's a little like cage that the blade sits on. So you go ahead and put the cage on there. And I'm going to do it on the thick side. So our blade is in there. We got our lid with the pusher. pusher. So I'm just going to go ahead and... doing this backwards so I love food processors they're so much fun because I know I don't have to do all so, that slicing. So you take it apart how much waste do we have much or little? Do you want to see the waste? Looks like it did zero. Did a good job. Zero waste on that. And we have some slice zucchini. Yay dial them out. 
So I'm gonna make some little fried zucchini with this. They look really good. Okay, so the zucchini is nice and sliced. I'm gonna use this for some fried zucchini. Looks really good. There's our onions. Hmm. Thumbs up. So now it's time to shred. So I have the post in here. I was wondering at the beginning about this. And I think this contraption is kind of neat because it's keeping anything from going out between the bowl and the edge where you'll get extra pieces. We haven't had that issue, so we'll see if there's any extra cheese, but it kind of keeps everything in here where the blade is instead of being outside the blade. So I'm gonna put this on the large slicing just because I'm like that, right? <laughs> and we're gonna make some cheese for the little mouse in the know. house. I, I don't know what you're talking about, Lewis. Little mouse in the house. <laughs> so let's go. Okay. So top situation, we have this, these two little pieces here. My cheese was a little warm. I have to confirm that this is real cheese. The house mouse. Uh, confirmed. Bah. So let's see what we got here. So this is how the cheese looks. Um, looks pretty good. I have a slight mangling down here a little bit. Um, these are big shreds. I think it did a pretty good job. There's a couple little edge mangling here, but nothing huge. Um, you just have this a little bit, um, but nice big shreds. I think it did a good job. Okay, now it's time to dice some potatoes. So we're gonna take our dicer and you wanna put it in right here where the dicing is gonna be near the pusher. So we're gonna put this here. We're gonna put that there. So let's dice a tater. are fun, fun, fun. Uh -huh. I love them. Woohoo. And look at that. Look at them diced taters. That's hash browns. That's Saturday morning hash browns. It's kind of like a good medium size. Every morning hash brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can even make scalloped potatoes with these. So this is so much better than buying frozen hash brown because this is fresh potato. You know what it is. You know nothing's been done to it. And you know it's nice fresh potato. Oh my gosh. That's breakfast. So here's our hash brown potatoes. I love these dices. It did a great job. Not super big dice. This is an eight millimeter, um, but these are gonna be fun and tasty. So we're gonna do something I haven't done in a food processor before. We're gonna use like these little mixer paddles to whip some cream. And I think this is great because then you could use a food processor to make a lemon meringue pie, right? You could make the crust, you can make the meringue. So you put the post on here, you put this little doohickey on here, we're gonna put the lid on. We're going to be using two cups of cream. So let's see what happens.
So I'm going to put in a little bit of powdered sugar. I'm going to put in a little vanilla or a lot. <laughs> I better quit this because I'm going to have butter here in a second. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Um, do you need a physical confirmation, boo boo, that we have? I might food? need one. Uh, I mean, I usually re reserve this for something else, but. Okay. I'll, I'll be right there, boo boo. Okay. I always have to check Wally on this because you can never trust her, can you? Mmm. Tastes a little sweet. Got good texture to it, but I don't know. I might need a little closer feel, right, Boo Boo? Mm -hmm. Yep, what I thought. Let's make some Boo frosting! I think, I think Boo Boo needs a new set of glasses. She thinks I'm a cake and that needs frosting somehow. So this Magico's uh, food processor was a lot of fun. It's 14 cups, so it has a big capacity. It did a great job on everything we put it through. We, we chopped onions, we sliced some zucchini, we grated cheese, and we made some... Um, hash rounds with a dicer and we made some whipped cream right did a great job i'm not used to using a food processor to make whipped cream i think this thing with the uh, little beaters is so adorable so if you want to take a look at this i'll put links down in the description thank you magic coast for sending this i really appreciate it we had a great time testing this baby out um again links will be down in the uh description so it's wednesday i hope you have a great day but i think this little thing is so adorable with the 